हेलो फ्रेंड्स सो टुडे इज वीडियो इज वेरी वेरी स्पेशल एंड क्लोज टू माई हार्ट बिकॉज टूडे आई एम अबाउट टू शेयर अ जर्नी ऑफ माइंड फ्राम यू नो अट ऑफ सक्सेस टू फेलियर एंड सक्सेस अगेन आई मीन सक्सेस अगेन द गोल स्टार्ट यू ऑल माइंड बी हैविंग एट दिस पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम वेन यू आर इन इधर क्लास इलेवें ट्वेल्थ or <coughs> aspiring for a college like IITs IIT Bangalore ISERs NISERs etc right so my question to you is has anyone ever told you that if you scored less in your class 12th or boards then you're useless or you're not going to have a bright future slash you're not going to get a good college these are same things basically so are you on the same boat as mine then this video is for you and watch till the end okay because i was that kind of a person who was studio still studio still class 10th and then class 11 12th saw a dip huge dip and uh, there came a point that i was almost knowing that i'm not able to score good marks in my class 12th boards and obviously like may or may not end up having a good college offer so my name is somit prakash alumnus of nizer puneshwar nizer as you might know stands for national institute of science education and research it's in bhubaneswar and so to talk about my credentials i graduated last year in 2024 with an integrated ms in physics and by the time of my graduation i had um gotten phd position of a strong some of the top places in the world like uk germany finland and i had qualified exams like csi net gate etc but these are some of the achievements that you see today uh the potential or the caliber to achieve those was uh not always there right so th- there is always a time like for you all it might be now you're in school or either a dropper right at at some point uh, the thought might come to your mind that what are we even doing is there an end to all this right are we struggling are we thriving are we doing what we don't even know right so i was in similar situations in my class 11th 12th so you know um most of the people in the 11th 12th or boards they either are aware of je or need right and um of course 90% of them are not interested in either of these they're just doing it because everyone else around you or them are doing it like right? if you're interested in bio there's no option other than need like you're told if you're interested in maths you're told that the best option available is je iits and its or engineering in general but what you don't know or what people uh, simply are not aware of and they don't tell you they don't bother telling you is there is a very 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 solid option for people belonging to both maths and bio right which is the basic science research and i was i wasn't even aware of it uh, when i was in my class 12th right we were coming from uh, a state like up where engineering and need are very prevalent amongst all the people in this class 11th and 12th and you know uh, pretty much everyone prepares for je need on the side um while being in their 11 12th of preparing for board exams right so in this tussle sometimes what happens is you end up you know neither preparing for your class 12th nor your competitive exams because there is always a um, conflict right going on between these two exams right one requires you to uh, have uh, basic knowledge but show it in a way that you know a lot and write long answers long paragraphs right and 
like fill your copy in three hours. So I'm talking about board exams. And on the other side, um, the questions are specific. Uh, time is limited. You just have to tick the answers, right? And based on that, you get some marks and rank and that decides your college, right? So I'm talking about GE mains or other competitive exams at this point of time. So for me, what happened was like, I became deeply confused in my 11th and that confusion remained there till, till I passed class 12th with, with like 82 percent that's not a lot that's not something uh, I, I could be of proud like at, the, at that point of time the medicines were announced and especially given the fact that I was um, able to score like 10 CGP in my class 10 scoring NTSC and in 11th qualifying KBBY uh, level 1 KBBY if you don't know it's uh, Kishore Vigyanik plus our news nights now scrapped but it used to be there till a couple of years ago so when 12 board results came out 82 percent of course parents thought I mean what have I done um, they, they like uh, they were very they were having this expectation okay this uh, that I'm going to score very high like 95 96 etc but I, I didn't I couldn't actually because um, major, majority of my time was going towards J preparation and that too I was not very sure of qualifying and getting good marks, getting good rank, etc. So my parents, my friends, they were quite surprised and shocked and um, my parents were not naturally happy with the results. Right? But um, eventually I was not aware of any other option than GE. Right? So I took a drop and started preparing for GE. Not started preparing for, I kept on preparing for GE. I switched my resources, guidances, my, I switched my city basically, I shifted to Delhi for preparation. And uh, meanwhile, I also met a couple of people through which I came to know about NICER, ICER, and this whole avenue actually opened up for me. And I was very excited that, okay, there is some place I could fulfill my passion of pursuing science, right? pursuing astrophysics, and creating something impactful, Right, and of course, uh, growing myself as well in the process. But the the fact that most of the people don't know, for example, in my circle, like the class where I was preparing for, there were around 50 students, and hardly two to three of them, um, you know, came to know about. Uh, I mean, hardly eight to ten came to know about Isis or Nizer, and hardly two to three of them. Uh, were able to fill the form because most of them didn't even know. So they were like blindlessly preparing for GE and IITs and PITs and etc. engineering colleges. Right, so that's the biggest, I would say, um, irony that um, the most, you know, uh, we promote science and most of us don't even know the proper channels, the proper colleges, research institutes to pursue science. I mean, when I say most of them, I mean the students of class 12. Of course, nowadays, uh, the scenario is a bit improving, but still, it's out of reach for many, many, many students, right? So, primarily, my aim in this video is to share that if I can do it, of course, after finishing my class 12 with 82 percent and of course people do have a lot more expectations when you uh, are decent with studies when you're able to crack some exams in your previous track record right and it's good so if you're preparing for GE um, I would definitely recommend you to prepare for IED, NEST, or ISIS, NIDIS, or have a look at those research institutes, right? Because they are at the forefront of countries' academic development. 
okay because engineering is something that you can pursue and you can be a trained engineer right doing something doing something related to computers and it doing some with machines mechanical chemical electronics electrical etc but if you really want to build something have an impact with your knowledge or solve problems that directly concern the society true so academia is the best place to be at right it, it, it can be chemistry let's say you want to be a pharmacist like working in pharmaceutical industry and you want to solve a problem that that's very persisting there you can't do it if you're an engineer right because you uh, are aware of it's you know already existing protocols and you know how to implement them how to execute etc but if you're a chemist or let's say you're a scientist chemical scientist working in the same field then you know the inside out of the, these things how they are built from scratch and eventually you can propose or build new new solutions of your own so that is something very fascinating for most of the students if they know about these opportunities so uh, long story short i mean of course you know enough of the story but if you have passed your class 12th and <clears throat> there's a point in the month of february march that you sort of intuitively know your range of the marks that you're going to score in your board exams okay so if even if that is around 75 80% 85% you need not worry okay you just have to prepare very confidently have faith on yourself uh, go through the previous questions and take some mock test okay and um, uh, leverage on the topics which you have studies is studied and which are your strengths to score more and more marks in Uh, exams for these research institutes like ISERs, NISERs. Of course, since we are in India, so there has to be an exam to take admission into any kind of college. Okay, and believe me that when I um, say that these institutes are at the forefront of countries' academic development and in in R and D, uh, I mean it. Okay, so they have world class facilities. Um, infrastructure, student life, culture, sports, um, research, infra, each and everything. Okay, many of uh, the many of countries' renowned scientists are currently either teaching um, at ISCs, ISERs, MISERs, ISIS, CMI. Okay, IACS. So, or they either have been to, or they are in some way associated with these three such institutes. Okay. So, if I can briefly summarize, if you are very interested in mathematics, uh, there is an institute called Indian Statistical Institute. Okay. So, it's based in Kolkata and. Um, has a branch in Bangalore and also there is a CMI Chennai Mathematical Institute okay, these are very 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 reputed institutes and the best part is if you want to get good placements these are the best places right because you actually have no fees involved here in your degrees uh, it can be bachelor of statistics bachelor of mathematics um, at ISI and CMI where you have um, physics and mathematics or data science computer science so um, the courses are really good okay they are both in collaboration with a lot of companies and they have world class placements okay you have i think packages ranging from 20 30 40 50 60 lakhs okay to even a crore so i mean why not take a shot i mean if you are in, interested in mathematics or let's say you have a knack in solving math problems if you are interested in bio chemistry physics then of course aim for ic bangalore isis nice the culture is very good the exposure is really nice okay you get to study from the people who are you know are actively doing research in the fields that you're interested in and the subjects that they are teaching okay so for example like the professor that used to teach me high energy physics was himself um india's one of the our world's one of the most renowned and famous uh, researcher working in experimental high energy physics so 
isn't that amazing okay and the experience uh, is that uh, experience is that is something you can feel when you're there in that particular class studying with those professors uh, getting your hands on those experiments and seeing the impact of what you're doing what they have created right and the legacy of the scientist that you are going to take forward okay so definitely um, life is not uh, restricted till j need and those things it goes far 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 beyond and even if you are i wouldn't say even if you are not interested uh, in doing basic science research right or want to do your btech with some research perspective then also you can try for iit nets because i think recently they are coming up with more and more btech courses okay the list should be uh, <coughs> in a different video if you want us to cover about that put uh, your comments down okay we'll bring us a great video on btech courses in research institutes and they have completely different flavor as compared to iits and other places okay so um but till then i hope that this video definitely brings some value to your lives and i am able to give you some perspective okay uh, about board exams how much you should worry about these right how much they matter in the long term to you they don't basically unless like as 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 long as you have decent score like 75% 20% uh, they're not going to matter much in the longer run and um, what options do you have of the class 12 boards right even if you are pcm or pcb or both okay there are um g need and iit nest and the best part about these research institutes like both pcm or pcb students can apply for these colleges okay so if you have any further queries comment your queries below in the comment section and we'll try to bring a separate video and try to resolve your query as soon as possible till then all the best see you soon in the next video bye bye